Fish cages are relatively new on the scene in Ghana. They hold the key to meeting our fish needs. The following video is a demonstration of how fish cages are constructed and installed in Ghana. Items needed for the construction include PE net, inner or harper net, poly drums, cotton twine, aluminium frames, and an anchor. The Rural Enterprises Project under the Rural Technology Facility has been designated to construct the fish cages under an arrangement with the World Bank. There are two types of cages. One is the two-in-one construction, the other one is the single construction. Now the two-in-one construction is in two parts with two cages in one. And each, the area of each cage is 5,000 meters, millimeters square or 16 feet square in an area. Now the cages, the parts of the cages, we have the main frame, the elbow, and the middle link. The middle link involves when construction the two-in-one cages. But in the single cages, we only have the elbows. Setting the pipe to size, we put the pipe in the power hacksaw braid. The main frame is cut to 5,000 millimeters, which is 16 feet. Then we cut the elbows 750 millimeters, which is also 2 feet 7 inches. Then we cut the middle link, the outer measurement being 1,100 millimeters, which is also 3 feet 7 inches. Now fixing this thing to size, we have fixtures around, whereby we put in these materials which are cut to shape into the fixtures and are being welded by our technicians. Now after welding, in order to protect the world part from corrosion or rusting, we prevent or coated it with anti-rust oxide. When this is done, then the, the, process, the parts are being sent to the drilling machines to be drilled with the various parts in place. Now, in order to get this done or assemble well, the various parts are being numbered as the process goes on. Because producing this is not just a one cage. They are about 200 cages in all. So each component comes with its dimension or its uh, number or identification. Now when this is done, the final part is the drilling. After drilling, then you send it out to set. After setting, the work is done. In the construction of the single cage, we have two parts, the main frame and the corners. Now we have four corners for a single cage. And we have four frames for a single cage. Now the corners here, or the elbows here, are to join the various four corners in shape to get our 5,000 millimeter square size that we want, or which is 16 feet square that we want. Now in the construction of the two you want to, whereby the elbows or the middle link comes in, that one too is made of three parts, the main frame, the elbow, and the middle link. And that one too, we have seven parts of the main frame. That's where the middle lace comes to support the middle one to, have, to get the two-in-one construction. From the cut-up stage, the cage is ready to be assembled. The various components are carried to the bank of the river where it will be installed. Here we are using a 5 by 5 by 3 meters uh, dimension, so which can uh, accommodate or have a stocking density of between 7,500 and 10,000 fin gallons. But we are using the 7,000 fin gallons capacity so that there will not be too much stress on the uh, cage. With the in installing, you, you have to put the frames onto the drums. Then you tie the frame onto the drums. Be woman, 
After that, we have the corners where you have to you, we use the seven inches uh, bolt to tighten the frames, which are the, 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 the joints. This is the mosquito net we use as the hopper to collect the fingerlings inside because when they are very small, they, they could pass through the bigger mess size which is used as the, the, the cage. So after they have grown for some time, we remove the mosquito net which is used as the hopper but we leave uh, a, a, a size to, at the top of the cage so that when you feed, water will not drain the feed out of the the cage. This is the PV net used for the cage. Uh -huh. This is sewn and then uh, weighted. There are weights on it. The weight is supposed to let it go down. Then the top, we tied it onto the frames before we put in the mosquito net. With the cage completed, it is installed on the river. The cages are now ready to be stocked up with fingerlings. All that the fisher folk needs to do at this stage is to feed the fish and see them mature in due season. There is obviously more room for people to take advantage of this opportunity that is beckoning. The project is being coordinated in the Afram Plains district by Mr. Kufia Mwakochunibua. If you look at the project document, it specified that we should form a total of 120 groups with an average membership of 25. Again, we were to build 240 cages. But uh, if you look at it critically, it means that about 1,500 farmers or beneficiaries are to benefit you know, from it. There is the need for the youth to take advantage of the opportunity in good time. This project is being funded by the African Development Bank. And you know, like all projects, you know, we have a lifespan for this you know, project. This project ends in the year 2012. Implementers of the project say one of its major aims is to mitigate the plight of the poor. It's been realized that there is the possibility that one can make an amount of 200 million per cage per year. We want to recommend these cages, cage culture, as a poverty alleviation tool and as a means of employment to our youth and as a means of raising the level of the living standard of our teaming youth all over the country.